when it comes to what, what you got planned next, um, let's go back to that Megan feature. Because that's what we really got to talk about. When it comes <laughs> to that Megan feature, like how soon can we expect that? Or is it like, you know, what's, what's that timetable like? Well, see, when it comes to like, with the Megan feature, mm-hmm. it's like, it's like a hit or miss. Like, I could put it out, but then it's like something might change to where it's like, I just can't put it out right then and there. Mm-hmm. They got Alter Matter too. The song, we're not going to take out the song. Just came, the, the original song just came out, so it's like, you know, it is doing good. Right, so you want it to eat on its own. You feel me? Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, he blew up, he blew up because he put something in it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because, like, you know, one thing I learned, a lot of people who get on, they do some of these fan celebrities, Drake, for instance. And you don't hear about it no more. So it's like, I don't want to be that artist. Right. I want to be like, when I drop it, it's like, people be like, okay, I never heard of him. Then you find out, oh, he got other songs. Right. That's what I did. So what you're trying to do is, you know, you know what the Megan feature is going to do for you. Right. But you still working to build and, and, and put yourself on. Right. Right, right, right. So, and so like, also with the features like this. Something might change, you know, like, maybe I won't be able to put the song at all, or maybe I get signed, and the label might not want me to do it, they might put somebody else on it, like. Right? Well, with Megan Thee Stallion being who Megan Thee Stallion is, you know, I doubt that happens, but I do see what you're saying. Right, like, right. Because stuff like that is possible, you never know what could happen between today and tomorrow, especially in the rap game. Right. Um. So, man, look, it's 2020, Um. what, what you see happening this year, like, do you think uh, this is the year, you know, you finally be able to uh, really blow up? Because 2019 was a good year for you. Yeah. You had Get It Girl. You had Left Cheek, Right Cheek still doing numbers. And that song came out in 2015, 2016. Now, I'm going to give y'all the history on Left Cheek, Right Cheek. Because mm-hmm. there's another thing I never talked about. Left Cheek, Right Cheek originally, mm-hmm. originally came out in 2014. Now I'm saying how 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 you worked it. Okay. In 2014, I was just now taking it serious. I've been wrestling up 13, but I finally took it serious around 16. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was in my cousin's store when he named Keyboy, Shell May Real, he's a rapper out of Jackson too. Right. We was in his garage. And you know, around the time, Lil T Rice was a YouTube beat. Ain't gonna lie to you, know, I ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie. We found a beat on YouTube, it was a freestyle. Right. My first love at the time, she came to, up there. She was like, you know, the beauty they playing. She like, hey, left cheek, right cheek. Get, you know, so I'm on this. I'm like, she, she like, bass got that song, left cheek, right cheek. So, boom. So, you know, like I said, it's in the story. So, you know, we ain't got the right quality. Mm-hmm. So, when I put the song out, mm-hmm. y'all ready? People call it garbage. People call it garbage, you know. So, I kind of... I just sat through the web because I mean, you look on my SoundCloud, that version, see, it got like 23,000 plays right now. Right. So, I felt like at that time, Little T-Rex was ahead of the time. Like, it wasn't ready. Maybe it wasn't the right time for me to put that. Because again, I, mean, I was in high school. So, fast forward, 2016 came. I went to, I started recording with Hershey Black. Okay. So, I let Hershey hear the song. And he was like, it's not a bad song. You just got to re-record it. Mm-hmm. So you know, went home. You know, I like I wanted to, to feed some words. Or, like maybe I want to like do some, just make it a clean song right. to where like it can still get radio play mm-hmm. and club plays. Mm-hmm. So I redid some of the words, rewrote it. You know, they basically rewrote the whole song. Went to Hershey, re-recorded it. A lot of people was like, hey, you know, you got the song, we won, but I'll drop it in 2016, drop it in 2017. Okay. So I recorded like December. I want to say December 16, 2016. Yeah. Okay. So I dropped it again, January 5th, 2017. Right. It then started blowing up to the middle of 2017, back when my cousin had this group called Pretty Gang, and they were doing parties, so, you know, they got me to come perform it. So, you know, being a twerk song, you got to think about it. Around 2016, 2017, when no twerk song being played in the club, I'm not like talking about it. Right. You know, know what about to It kind of died down a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, basically, like, when Little T-Rock came, it was like, it's simple, it's short, and you can twerk to it. So, boom. They love that. They, they ate love. that up. Then what really made it possible more was the remix, which has my homeboy AP, Melissa who from Dallas, Texas, and Mohead Mike. Right. You know Mohead Mike, 
you know, everybody looks at the average. Like, you got to think about I'm on here to live. Right, and he in the background. Like, yeah, like, yeah. And you know, people like this. Just getting it that extra sauce. Yeah, so it's like the remix kind of like blew up some more. Mm-hmm. Then this big producer in New Orleans, all right, Slash, who do a lot of New Orleans bass song, made it to a New Orleans bass verse. Now it's popping in New, New Orleans. Orleans. Then it's a Timbo verse now mm-hmm. for the kids. Right. So either way it goes, let's see Roger go pop either way. All right. So yeah, that's that's dope. That's dope. And then like I said. You followed up left cheek, right cheek. You know, you used that momentum that carried you into Get It Girl. No. Watch me do it. Watch me do it. Yes, watch me, watch do, me it. do it. So, and that came out what? Begin 2018. 2018. March 2018. March 2018. Mm-hmm. And then you dropped Get It Get Girl it March 2019. January 2019. January 2019. The video dropped March 2019. April. We shot it in March. We shot it in, in March. March. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, basically, uh, my. my well, this question is kind of like, how do how do you you know? Because I see a lot of artists have a good song or a hot song, but this is why I say you the promo king because nobody promotes as hard as you right. that I've really seen in Jackson. I said it early, I'm gonna say it again. So, what do you think is just the difference in you know, or how do you how, what is your approach on promoting and? Using your momentum to carry out to where you have one song transition into the next song, and then into the next song. Like, how do you keep up with that? Well, see, it's like okay, like you said, you, a lot of artists have a good song that they got out. Mm-hmm. The thing is, when it comes to how I do it, I want the next song to be better than the last song. Right. Like, I don't want you to hear this song and be like, "Damn, this sound like Little T Right T." Right. I want. Or, it, be, or does it sound worse than Little T Right You feel right. me? So it's like okay, it's like. Watch me do it for instance. A lot of people, I, I listen to the, I listen to my supporters. So it's like, okay, left cheek, right cheek. A lot of people, you know, liked me. Then like, okay, you got people like, well, I want to dance on like a full out dance song. Right. Watch me do it, you know, it's like a full on dance song. Then you know, I think to myself, okay, well, I want another twerk. I want another twerk anthem. Mm-hmm. So get it, girl. It was like get it, girl. I feel like really was the one that like. Pop, pop, because you got to think about it with that. Not only would get her a popping song, the producers also from Jackson. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to Lil Mike Santana. So definitely shout out to Lil Mike Santana. So you know, like when it comes to singles, your goal is to make the song better than the latest. Promoter wise, it's like it's a twerk song, so like you know, you know what you approach. So it's like you gotta go to you know. I have I run a lot of girls, so it's like. They give me feedback, like, okay, I may sing, like, I may sing Kia song, and she'll listen to it. She gonna tell me whether I should push it, right, or I shouldn't push it. Right. Which is why I go to the studio, I record, I record, like, six songs in an hour in the studio, mm-hmm. and I'll send, Santana being in the studio with me, she gonna tell me, you know, what it is. good or not, yeah. you know what, I mean? what you need to fix, whatever right. you Right, and then do. when I go for Santana, I send it to Key, mm-hmm. and then Key gonna help me pick out what song... I just push, mm-hmm. and we go from there. So now it's like, okay, this is song I want to push. I feel like it's gonna do good. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Promoting wide, like I said, it's a twerk song. So you gotta go. Sometimes you gotta reach out, even when you, even when you where I'm at, you still gotta reach out. Like you know, it ain't nothing to go to a girl DM like, hey, excuse me, I got this new song. You want you might twerk to it? They can tell you yes. They can tell you no. They can tell you okay, I charge this much. Right. Or or you know they just do it because they like it. They like right. some of the song. Right. And go from there, like. Then it's like okay, once you start promoting on Instagram, it's like okay, now the DJs come in. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know, I hang around like DJ. I make some of the song, go to a club, they play it. Now you got to see the kind of crowd react to it. Now it's like okay, now we got club, we got Instagram going. Now the radio. Okay. Radio. When it comes to a radio station, it's like a DJ. You send to the DJ. They like the song, but you gotta get a clean verse. That that's like the main downfall that a lot of people have when it comes to pushing the song. You got Not the dirt that clean version. Mm. You got to have a clean version. Like okay, say for instance, you being a DJ, you go to you get booed for like a high school show, or like a high school dance, and you want to play this song. It's a hot song, but you got a clean verse. So that way, right. that way you're messing up it. Mm. So the biggest thing really having a clean version. So like once you get that clean version, like now you can maneuver around to like. Now you're getting the high school crowd. Now you're getting, you know, it's nothing wrong with having a middle school crowd. I mean, it's key. Key gets song out more. Then it's like, okay, what else can you do? Like, we work out. 
my uh, homeboy Marte took it and made it to a swag mix, you know, for the mohead swags. Mm -hmm. Now it's popping more because it's a swag mix. It's like, mm -hmm. it's, it's all about how you move the song. Mm. It's, it's just like, it's gonna sound kind of crazy, but it's like a prostitute. Prostitute gotta move around for different points, different points. So you gotta move, you gotta treat that song like a prostitute. You gotta move that bitch all around. Right, because if it ain't selling here, you put it on another corner and see if it sells. Yeah, you feel me? Wow, you are definitely promo king. So, <laughs> you the promo king. So, um, and, and like you said, all this came just from you, you know, taking time out to do research and studying how to you uh, Googling and YouTube and things like that. Mm -hmm. How, like, if you could tell, like, how long you probably been doing that or like, what, what exactly did you look up? Like, what, what, what was, you feel like been the keys to, you know, you know, pushing your song or how did you even learn to promote? Because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to promote. How did you learn to promote? I mean, I mostly taught myself, like. Again, like I like I said, I done been around a lot of celebrities. I watched a lot of you know, you, you watch it like on VS one and shit like even the movies like them documentary stuff. So mm -hmm. They teach you stuff. Like I watched what with TLC when they were doing what they were doing and you see like what they went through or something, like mm -hmm. you wanna study okay like what should I not do that they did. Right. So I won't get that position. So like even with promote with promoters like I, I done seen promoters like none on uh Team, you know, back when I was in high school, like we had Team Moolah, Money Team, G Committee, none of his team. I watched how when it was him, when you had none of Money, Yummy, King Heen, all them, how they were promoting themselves. So it was like, you know, I looked up to them because I was like, you know, they promote themselves. Like, you know, Money, when he was like this year, he was going with the Bird, promote himself and all this right. So, like, I actually looked at that, like, as motivation. I'm like, okay. Let me see how they do it and see if I can do it, but in my own way. Mm -hmm. And like maybe I, I can't, you know, I mean, I'd be no promoter, mm -hmm. but I can see what none of them did to help money and me and King and all them get to where they was at. Right. Yeah. So, right. but it's just like, you know, they're watching people and then, you know, YouTube is like, you just Google, like you just put how to and whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And, go from and it's really just as simple as that. Yeah. And then I like, you know with Santana, you know Santana, she's a journalist. She went to school for that. And you know, like she, t I go to events with her and stuff. So like you know, I could be like when I went to Jesse and what it was Jesse Music Awards. Mm -hmm. I met people like Calvin Richardson, uh, Ron Carbo. Now we met. Now me and Stone met Ron Carbo back in like 2016. We went to his studio. Right. A lot of people know who Ron Carbo. Is. Ron Carbo is a Grammy Award winning producer mm -hmm. and engineer. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to this man's house and his, he got his own in house studio. He got. So that for songs you wouldn't even know he done worked on. That's the, that's the funny part. He right here. That's crazy. Yeah, and like he be there. And a I lot mean, of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that. Bobby Rush, like, is you know you just being around them folks and like you know you hear them talk. You know you gotta take you know take in all that. Mm -hmm. And that's basically it. Then, you know take what they give you and you apply with your music with your music stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So to get off that and the kind of you know well. I feel like this whole interview really has been about using social media as like a tool, right. and and that's just because you one of the best at it. Um, and I know you you kind of just got on live, so I'm gonna bring up the question, you know, just so they hear it here yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, back to the verification, just to confirm, <laughs> no Polo Baby did not have to pay for the verification yeah. at all. It was as simple as requesting it. Like you said, you requested how many times did you probably request? About twenty. Twenty times to get. <laughs> That verification, but request. no, you, you you know it, you, you it's just like you can't give up on it. Like, Facts. You know maybe you gotta think about it. If this is how I look at stuff, if God wants you to have it, you'll get it. Mm. So maybe like at that moment, I probably wasn't ready to get verified. Right. Cause you know one thing I told myself in 2019, I wanted two things to be verified or be signed. Did I know they won't come yet? Did I think I'll come as quick as the end of 2019? Yeah, you no, know, but that's a good criminal you know, person. Right, you to, to yourself, you know what You mean? know, so it's like, I knew one or two was going to come. But, you know, I didn't let it stop me. Like, you know, okay, I'm not verified. Okay, that's the end of the world. I'm just keep doing what I need to do. Maybe I'll get verified sooner. So it's like, in the process of me still putting it in 20 times, you know, people might lay like, damn, he did it 20 times. Like, wow, you, you said to do. I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, I was still doing what I was doing mm -hmm. to build up. So maybe by the time I put it in again, you come. Right. So you you could you so basically like what you just said, 
at the first time you put it in, like you said, you probably weren't ready yet. Right. But that didn't stop you from working. So you just only continued to work until they finally actually gave you, you know, the verification check. Right. And, of course, you're not satisfied with the verification mm-hmm. check. Of course not. Because at the end of the day, it's not everything, you know. It's But that is it is an accomplishment in itself. So congratulations right. to you for right. having that verification. Thanks, thanks. And I do want to say... um. Like you just brought up with the, in 2019, you said you either wanted to be signed or verified. Right. See, cause like, if I knew it wanted to come in 2019, it gonna super come in 2020. Mm-hmm. So, so getting signed is what you is what you you go a goal right. for you in 2020. Right. Like you know, a lot, I know a lot of people feel like is, you know, like everybody feel like fucking deal. But this is my thing. It's like this: if you are in the uh, upcoming artist. Mm-hmm. You don't have, like, I ain't going to say a lot of people don't, but a lot of artists don't have the fun to do what you can do what you sign. That's okay, facts. you know, like. Especially around here. That's you, facts. You feel me? So it's like, people saying fuck a deal, but it's like, let's say, you you being from Jazz, you get signed to 1.5 million or a million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might not be satisfied, but that's a start. Because, see, right. yeah, of course, you're not going to send that whole million. But you gotta think about it too. You get that million, the label promoting you, so like now you ain't gotta worry about promoting them. Yeah, you getting budgets and everything. Yeah, like and like that. you know, they paying for your video. You still getting money, cause you getting money off your merchandise, shows, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And now it's like you in a position where you wasn't at, where you was being independent. Like, ain't nothing wrong being independent, but I'm saying like. Not at all. You know, it's like sometimes that deal could help you. Get yeah, you gotta place. use it to, you know, help yourself. Right, like, you know. I feel like I went inside to anybody, mm-hmm. and yes, you know, yes, I have deal offers right now. I've been a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people are lying, but I haven't had deal offers since I was like eighteen. Santana can vouch that for me, but mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. It was one time I, I did reach out to to a label, mm-hmm. and they declined me. Mm-hmm. Did it hurt? Yeah, but you know, it didn't stop me. Right, just you know, like with the the Instagram verification. Yeah, like it's been plenty of times that I done reached out to a label, I done reached out to A and R and all this and they have like denied me. But I didn't let it stop. Even like with Jackson, like I ain't gonna lie a lot of time when I see people like talk about me, so like just before I got verified, we uh, a couple days beforehand, somebody was on Twitter like, Who the, who y'all think the world rapper in Jackson? I was number one. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, I ain't gonna say it's don't hurt but it's the same time it's like it ain't gonna stop me. Cause right. like I done hurt, I've been hearing that since I was thirteen. Like you ain't gonna make it in rapping, you ain't gonna do this in rapping. I told people when I was a senior, hey, give me time to graduate. What happened? Now, hey, just being real, I didn't graduate in twenty fifteen because of state test. Uh-huh. Yeah, they stopped me. No, get what? I did. I what most people didn't do. I went to my head about the cutaway. Uh-huh. To my head the cutaway. Hey, only had two passes. Uh, passed state test. I only had to pay one. Graduated. Boom, 2016. Dropped my first official video. Dropped another one in November 2016. I just kept going. Right. And now I'm way paid where I was back then. And right. I'm proud of myself despite what people said about me. And even right now, like I said, I'm verified now. Motherfuckers still talking about me. And exactly. Shit. Like, <laughs> I think I talked about for being in the wreck. Like, I had a wreck with my grandma and my auntie. Um, yeah, I, I saw was, that. Yeah. Man. And, you know, you know, shout out to LL. LL didn't mean no harm. But, you know, you know, he made a joke, you know, about saying that, you know, he had I get a girl. You uh-huh. know, which is funny because, you know, you see me get a girl in my song. Uh-huh. But, you know, a lot of people that took it, took it out on a negative level. Right. Like, they posted, like, a lot of people were posting, you know. Just to make fun of you. Right. Like that. And, you know, that's when you have my people, they come in, they come in and stuff like that, too. But one thing about it, me and Elo had already, you know, we was in the DM, like, Elo, my, my, my people. So, you know, mm-hmm. like, I knew he didn't, mean, he didn't mean no harm by mm-hmm. it. But, you know, a lot of people took it trying to be funny with it. So, right. it's like, you realize when you get to that certain point, like, no matter what you do, whether good or bad, people talk about it. So, it's like, I just had to learn to stop worrying about what people said about me and just keep on doing what I had to do for myself to get to where I want to be at. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, this is going to be around, like, one of my, uh, you know, I got a few more questions, not too many. But it's just, uh, I want to go back to the label. Because uh, like you said, you've reached out, you've been the client, and then you also have label offers. Uh, I want to first ask you about those label offers. Were the reason why you're not signed right now is it was just the offers were not enough? 
was it not the right situation for you? If you kind of speak on that real quick. I mean, when you get offered, oh, like, basically, what's the reason you didn't sign? It's like this: we when you get when you get that first deal offer, you know, in your mind, you're like, okay, I got a deal, but it's like you feel. I feel like I wanted more. Like, okay, if I know, like, okay, I had one deal offer back when I was eighteen that was like fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. That's not enough money. So I'm like, okay, if somebody can sign me eighteen to fifty thousand. Imagine what I could do when I hit twenty, twenty one. Mm. So I waited. It was at one point, I got proof of this, and a lot of people might think I'd be mad about this. I reached out to even your money, mm-hmm. with Wayne. Now, I got an email, mm-hmm. gave me a number, and told me to hit them, to hit them up. The number was Lil Wayne as well number. Mm-hmm. Now, this is what happened, which is why I didn't do that. Because it, Lil Wayne was there, he was, he was real with me. He was like, because I wasn't where, because I wasn't at no level of signing, he could get like a feaster, but the feaster like forty five, or like forty five hundred. You know, being eighteen, nineteen, you ain't got no forty. Okay, so he was basically like, I can't sign you, but I, I want to help you. Right, like, I and just, getting a feature from Lil Wayne for forty five hundred dollars. It's not bad, but you know, uh, it, amazing. <laughs> it, it's not bad, but sometimes you know you ain't. I ain't got it. I mean, yeah, if you don't have it, I do understand, but that's Lil Wayne, yeah, so he's so, definitely looking out. Yeah, so you know, like if I like that, what I was saying, like. Even though I couldn't get signed, but when he told me, it's like, okay, I'm 19. I just got done talking to Lil Wayne. He done mm-hmm. gave me this. So it's like, I feel like, okay, maybe it just ain't time to get signed right now. Right. So that's why I wasn't just, I want to get signed, but I wasn't pushing it. And like, over time, like I said, more deal offer came and came and came. But it's like, I was just trying to see when that one deal cut, I could just be like, okay. This the one. This the one. Like, when you went from having people like independent labels to now it's... 2018, you got two or three big labels to come to like. We're now 2019, you got like major, major labels reaching out now. So right. it's like, even when like, even when getting verified, they play a part too. Cause like, they now they like, see you. Yeah, like you know, like, man, this this nigga he independent, he verified, and he got some good songs. And like, yeah, like yeah, I need to check him out. You know, like, it, bring, it brings attention. That's that's the main goal that I try to do. I want to bring attention to myself. Like, even when it comes like. Dancing on Instagram and stuff like that. Like, labels look at stuff like that. Right. Even Hershey said that when he's on live. He said, he, he was telling me, like, you know, people looking at Paul, like, okay, yeah, you, you making fun of your dancing, but you watching him, like. Exactly. You know, so it's like, that, my, my goal is to, like, make more and more labels watch me. Right. Until I get that one, that one deal that I just want to sign with. Do you have that, like, in your mind already? Like, okay, if somebody offered me this number for this amount of years, you know, all the business aside, like, have you already mapped out that type of deal? In yeah. Your mind? Well, if you don't mind me asking, what is that number for a label to sign Polo Bear? I mean, it can be like, it's like a start. It can be like one me, one point five me. I ain't looking for like no. You're not five, looking for a, a five, ten million dollar deal. I'm right? being logic. Like, you know, being a upcoming artist and you got like a popping song, of course not finna sign for no eight million. Right. Now, you know, you might have some who might. Right. You know, but. I mean, depending on the song, if you got an old town road or something in the vault. But even with him, like, I studied him before he got famous. Like, Lil Nas is, like, out of all the artists that he motivated me to, like, Lil Nas is number 20. Right. He dropped Old Town Road in October of 2018. Mm-hmm. Staying with his sister, and get kicked. Like, y'all, this man got kicked out, mm-hmm. all his neck. And within, like, months, this nigga life changed. Exactly. So it's like, all but one song. Exactly. So like, I look at people like him. Like even him, people don't know about him. He was a me and this nigga was already following each other on my old page. That's the funny part. Mm. This nigga follow me on Twitter. He was a troll. He he had like a fan page of yep, Nicki Minaj. He, yep, he did. And that's smart. Okay, what? Now you switch up that fan page, make it your now page. Now it's your page, and you got so many followers. You feel me? And so like, you can't help but admire somebody like this. So like, yeah, he had that one song, and now he signed. I think he signed like under. Columbia, Interscope, mm-hmm. one of them. Big, big labor. Big deal. labor. Big and, labor and look what all he's doing now at the age of 20. Exactly. So, like, yeah, like, that's why, that's why I look at, like, maybe I could be in his shoes at one point. Like, maybe, like, even workout. Workout might not be that one. Mm-hmm. I could see, like, Lil T. Rice, he's officially drop on all platforms on Friday. Right. That song, see it going up. This day. Like, even people who sit there, that song is new. Exactly. I can get sound off that song. I'll tell you, it can be an old, it can be a new song. It'll, the label, it's all about the label. They feel like this song gonna make them some money, then that song they gonna push, and that song gonna blow you up. It's that, that simple. That's a fact. Um, 
Well, Polo Baby, I think we touched on everything we could touch <laughs> on. Um, any final words you got? You know, the floor is yours. Anything you feel like you need to say? Uh, One thing I just want to say is to all artists, don't ever feel like because you're in Jackson, you can't make it. Mm -hmm. Like, you can be right here in Jackson and see a blow up. Money taught us that. Money taught us that. Like, you can be, Little Jay taught us that. You hate Little Jay, wasn't that? But you can be in Jackson, blow up. It's all about how you do it. Don't let it because, because you don't get posts on certain people's page or because they ain't, people ain't repost yourself so discourage you. Don't let people say, oh, you can't rap. You can't do this and that stuff because I promise you. Mm -hmm. One thing that I learned, I said, God, let get up over here. Goddamn. <laughs> but one thing that I learned is, despite what everybody said, despite how people feel about, oh, being verified on me, not, nothing out of the snake, when you wake up, and you see hella people making video to your song. Mm -hmm. You see motherfuckers like actually tagging you and they so tag you and they video secret post it. That should alone make you feel good. To like even people like even you ain't doing no paid shows or you getting paid so just know that people want you to come perform with they so like that make you feel good like that make you feel like you did something. Right. And when you wake up at eight thirty two in the morning, I just did drop in the song at twelve o'clock. And you got DM. and you got that you, you got the DM to the post telling you oh you got verified you look on your page man that shit is an accomplishment don't let nobody tell you otherwise that shit made me like I was like I know what's like mm -hmm. real talk so it's like and I'm right here in Jackson I was see I, where I'm at right now I was in Jackson when I got verified so it's like you don't need a million views you don't need you don't need no big you can get a big feature. But a lot of stuff that you think you need, you don't need. As long as you work, you never know who on your page. Just keep working. Whether you get 12 likes, 100 likes, it don't matter. Because likes don't matter no more in, on Instagram. Long as you know motherfucker watching your shit, and you know that you promote yourself, that's all you, that's all you need. So, that's basically all I got to say. All right, man. Polo <laughs> Baby, that was another golden interview. A great golden interview. Shout out to you, brother. Uh, much success to you in 2020, brother. Appreciate you for doing the interview, man. No problem.